My name is Gauthier Sergent. I've been with North Sales for 21 years and I am fully embedded with Team Ineos and I'm in charge of the sales. How many America's Cup have I worked for? I think it's four or five. I've lost count. A lot of us work for North outside of the Cup teams, but the minute we join the Cup team, first there's a confidentiality, so we stop talking work with our colleagues, and we're all competitors. The America's Cup is stressful. Obviously you can see my haircut, it is stressful. But that's what we look for. It's not a bad stress, I think it's what drives us. If you're in that game, that's because you're never satisfied with average. You always want to do better. When we design a sale, it's a constant evolution process. The primary factor is performance, is how fast the boat is going. And then the whole aspect is how we can mode the sails, which is, you know, create a lot of power when we're at slow speed to take off or light air, and how much we can flatten everything up to reduce the drag and go fast. The teamwork is what I enjoy in this, in this environment. Even if you're, say, the sail designer, you have to have a reasonable understanding and talk to your colleagues about what's happening under the water and find the best combination. There's not one solution for the aero, one solution for the hydro. It's, it's really strongly connected and all the way to the end users. As a design team, our customers are the sailors and they are going to be using the boat. We have to make sure the boat is as they expect it to be and everything we come up with is usable and has a function in real life, not just a gimmick in the computer world and all the guys on the boat have a very good understanding of the technology behind it. So we are able to get good feedback. So what's new on the sail side for this cycle? Uh, obviously the double skin mainsail. So essentially we hoist two mainsails on the mast. The mast is a D-shaped and we have like two tracks on either side. So we end up with kind of a thick profile and in the lower part of the sail, like a meter and a half above the deck and four meters below the top of the mast, we allow any sort of control we want, you know, me mechanical control and it's all hidden away. So that's the thing that no one sees and that's that we try and protect. And uh, there's a lot of engineering going on in these areas to try and control the shape, the depth, the twist and just have a very fine control over the shape of the mainsail. The quicker the boats are going, the easier they get to model. So on a daily basis, we do a tremendous amount of uh, numerical simulation, even more than we ever done before. Now we have what we call a simulator, so that's like a video game if you wish, but with a proper physical model, and the guys train in that simulator. The on the water time is very short. At this point of the game, the gains you make are so small that you'd be hard pushed to, put, to measure that on the water. So you trust your model and then you just confirm on the water that the trends are okay. In the sailing sense, the America's Cup is kind of the holy grail of the technology and the performance. You get to refine to a level that you never do in any other class that's pushing to the very, very top.